When I got the call and they told me that I was selected as, as the next president, uh, immediate excitement. I mean, really just you know, think about the quality of this institution and its history. But really, I'm honored and, and I'm, I'm humbled. Uh, there haven't been a lot of presidents of the University of Dayton. I'm following some really incredible presidents, transformative presidents. My impression of Eric is that he's very authentic, he's real, he's genuine. He's someone who cares deeply about the students and the faculty and someone that aligns very closely with our core values at the University of Dayton. I'm the son of uh, two, two teachers. My, my dad eventually became a principal. My mom was an art teacher. My dad a science teacher. Went to a Catholic elementary school and a Jesuit high school in, in Buffalo, New York. From the very beginning, you know, values-based education was very important uh, to my family and, and, and to me. I'm excited about working with, with people who want to move Dayton forward. So you know, it's become very clear to me just in these uh, few months. Uh, people here collaborate well together. Uh, they're really focused on making Dayton better as a research university, better as a, you know, a moral beacon in challenging times, uh, make it better as a place where we can make students' dreams come true when they graduate and make a difference in the world. He typifies a person that can be a good leader in a Marianist university. In all of our uh, references, they were universally laudatory about his integrity, uh, the values by which he lives, and his uh, very consultative nature. The deeper I went into the process, uh, the, the more um, it really seemed to be a, a home for me and, and for my wife, the way that um, the individuals I met, students, staff, faculty, trustees, uh, seemed deeply connected to the institution, deeply connected to each other, uh, in a way that I, I haven't seen in a, a lot of other places. And then finally getting on campus a few weeks ago, uh, meeting, meeting more people, um, it really does feel like home. I, I almost can't wait till, till next July to, to get here and to really li live among uh, these, these folks who've dedicated their lives to making Dayton better. But I really look forward to going you know, across the country and around the world, as well as right here in Dayton, and hearing the University of Dayton stories that are written by our alums, the things they've done professionally and personally. So I certainly look forward to, in the first year, learning a lot more about the history of Dayton through the people who've been here and who've carried those values forward in, into the world.